Anthony Hartwig with a, another spring season preview. We're joined from Boardman and the softball team. Head coach Fred Mooch returns for another season. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me as always. You got it. Before we start talking about this season, let's have a little bit of a kind of a recap and a uh, reflection of the way last year went and some of the things that you're taking from last year to the returning players into this year as far as lessons learned and things you can build on? Well, I, I don't think the year ended the way we wanted it to. Um, but, you know, there's a lot we could take from last year. Obviously, we're very young last year, very inexperienced. We only had three seniors. Um, our whole infield was, you know, practically brand new. So we, uh, you know, coming into this year, um, we feel much, you know, much more confident with, you know, obviously playing together, um, having, you know, haven't played together last year, getting things, you know, to really, you know, more cohesive to come together this year. I think, uh, you know, 10 and 15 overall with our schedule, uh, you know, I was okay with that. Um, the wins and losses are, you know, to me, aren't ultimately important. It's, it's how we play in those games. And then obviously to prepare us for the tournament, you know, that's why we play the schedule we do. That's why we schedule up. Uh, I thought uh, we did some good things last year. We we pitched great. Um, obviously, losing Natalie Davis is a, you know is uh, you know a big deal. I mean, Natalie went on to play at Westminster. She had a great senior year uh, last season. But um, I, I have great pitching coming back. Obviously, a lot of returners coming back. So you know we will build from last year into this year. And uh, like I said, I think there's going to be uh, much more familiarity with each other this year than last year. When people look at the offensive numbers as a whole from last year, they might not look great, but a lot of that had to do with the first half of the season and this new lineup that you you're you know you're talking about really started to put the bats together second half of the year. How much are you hoping that that momentum and that those reps and and that carries over into this year so you can just say, hey, you know we can't start like that again and and have that you know half a season to get into the rhythm on on the on the bats. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. You're right. I mean, it, it really did have a lot to do with, you know, who we've seen. I mean, we've seen a lot of really good, talented arms, I mean, just in our own conference alone. Um, but, you know, I think that's something this year that we will do a little bit better. I think right now, even in the preseason, we're swinging the bats a little better. You know, I know our pitching will always keep us uh, in games as well as our defense. But, uh, you know, ultimately, we have to be better, especially in crucial points of the game. Uh, you know, with runners in scoring position, we did not do a great job at times last year. But, you know, this year I feel more confident, um, you know, with the fact that we can, you know, start to piece together, uh, you know, some bigger innings. I think, you know, I tell the girls always use the, uh, you know, the pass to bat mentality, just, you know, figure out a way to uh, get on, uh, you know, no matter how you do it, just, you know, so we can get the, you know, string together three or four hits and, you know, maybe put together some big innings and obviously gives your pitchers, uh, you know, to some more comfortable, uh, you, know, you know, if you score three or four runs, you take the onus off them of having to be perfect all the time. And and I think last year that's what we ended up having happen where, you know, we didn't score when we needed to in crucial times. And then, you know, at times I thought we, you know, when we did, we, we unfortunately we failed a little bit defensively. So I think this year we will definitely uh, swing the bats a much better. Let's jump into the meet the team segment of the interview and have you go over your roster. Obviously, a lot of returning players and maybe a couple of new faces that you think Boardman fans need to know about. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, like I said, we pretty much return our entire infield from last year. Uh, you know, um, this year, uh, Olivia Lasivita is going to do our, our catching for us. Um, Matty Weimer is going to play some in the outfield for us, but you know, for us, it starts in the circle with uh, Gabby and uh, and Tori. I mean, uh, those two, you know, are are one and one A in my opinion. You know, they both are a little different in styles, but you know, they both uh, they both have unique styles, but they both are very effective. And you know, ultimately, like I said, I mean, it starts there. Uh, they'll always keep us in games, and then you know, uh, I think you know, first base. Uh, like I said, Nally played last year um, at first for us, but this year Leah Haybaker is going to step into that role, um, play some first base with us, along with uh, probably Katie Pellin, who's a senior. 
um, and maybe, uh, you know, even Ellie Weimer, who has, uh, you know, uh, she's a sophomore, but this preseason, she has really, really uh, performed well. So, you know, she's going to play some in the outfield for us um, as well. Um, she's swinging a good bat. She's got, you know, she's very athletic. Uh, second base, we have Ava Freeborough, who started there last year for us. You know, Ava's uh, obviously getting a little bit of a late start with basketball, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, Lacey Juris at short. You know, Lacey is just always a constant there, and she's very another very great athlete. And uh, Alex Ward at third base, who's played, you know, extremely well there. Alex hit the ball very well for us last year. And, you know, Alex is coming in this year with a, you know, a, just, a, you know, a great mindset. Uh, she's become a great leader for us. So, you know, Alex will play at uh, third base for us. And, and then in the outfield, you know, we're going to, we're going to have uh, likes of uh, senior Maddie Burke. Um, Maddie's uh, swinging a good stick as well here in the preseason. So Maddie's going to see some time out there. Um, and then, you know, we'll probably uh, put Tori out there when um, Gabby's pitching. Um, and then Sophia Lasivita uh, will get some time in the outfield as well. And uh, Gabby Bagnasarian will also play here, probably play some third base for us. So we got a lot of senior leadership on this team. Um, you know, like I said, we have uh, seven seniors. Um, uh, Sophia Rivera is part of the team this year. She's going to, you know, help uh, with, uh, you know, and, and running bases for us and stuff like that. So um, I really feel, like I said, really confident in what, what uh, we bring back here um, on the varsity level. And, you know, and as far as our junior varsity, um, you know, we had a scrimmage uh, against United's varsity last week and or about 10 days ago. And, you know, they played extremely well. And Michaela Rivera, who's a freshman, is going to get some playing time for us. She's really coming on strong. And she's had so far, again, same thing, a little bit late of a start with basketball, but uh, – She's, you know, she's playing very well for us. Uh, Addy Kowachek, who's going to pitch not only at the varsity level for us, but she's going to, you know, um, play JVs as well. She'll be kind of a two-way player. Uh, we have Olivia Petrich, uh, who's a sophomore, Liv's going to play the outfield for us. Laney Joyce, who's another great athlete, Laney's going to play short for us, uh, probably play some outfield for us. Uh, Jocelyn Torres, who's also a sophomore. Jocelyn's another great athlete. Another uh, good basketball player, um, like I said, getting a little bit of a late start. But uh, like I said, these girls have, you know, come in ready to go. Um, you know, we have some freshmen in uh, Sophia Barkey, uh, Serenity Martin, Kate Thames, uh, Mackenzie Cherney. Mackenzie's, you know, the younger sister of Morgan Cherney who, who caught for us for, you know, a few years. It went on. She's playing in college as well, have, you know, having a nice little uh, college career there. Uh, Mackenzie's a uh, uh, first baseman can, can swing a good stick. Um, uh, then we have uh, Lily Haas who, you know, Lily's going to catch some uh, JVs, but she's also going to help us at the varsity level this year. You know, we don't have a ton of catching there. So Lily's going to help us there. Um, Sarah Land Jr. Who's going to also pitch for us this year as she's a junior. Uh, Sarah's had an amazing year last year. JV's pitching. She's, she's a, she's a tough to hit, um, but uh, we we're confident in Sarah uh, down there. And we have uh um, Alex Taylor, Alex Taylor, who's another great athlete. Alex has moved here from Liberty. She's a great swimmer. As anybody that's familiar with swimming, she was AAC swimmer of the year. And, you know, Alex is uh, going to play some first base for us. Like it's another freshman. And, uh, we have Gia Pizzo. Gia is another great athlete. I mean, I, 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 you know, I, we've, uh, mentioned this year with, in, with the coaches, how much more athletic we have gotten as a team. And, you know, it just, like I said, up and down our lineup, we could just, you know, we can name athletes and, and, you know, like I said, we're really, uh, we're really confident that this year we're going to be able to do some other things that, uh, you know, on the bases and everything else. And then uh, Riley Delicio, who's a freshman, unfortunately, Riley uh, has, is playing injured. She cannot play this year, but uh, Riley, uh, hopefully we can get her healthy for next year. Uh, Riley, Riley's a catcher as well. And, you know, I think Riley's going to do some great things for us. So, like I said, we're, we're led by, you know, uh, seven seniors, and there's a lot of good leadership in that in that regard. Let's try to talk about your schedule as well. The teams that pop up, we'll start with your conference because that's probably the hardest conference maybe in the whole state of Ohio. You have a state champion in Fitch, a state runner-up in Canfield. If that wasn't hard enough, you'll also have a very talented Howland team and then a scrappy Warren Harding team as well to deal with in the conference. Talk about what it's like to navigate the AAC and, and what you expect out of it this year and what you're hoping to get out of it this year. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, you pretty much have summed it up. I mean, I, if there's a tougher conference in the state, I, I want to see it because, you know, I mean, listen, make no mistake about what we know we're up against here with obviously with Austin Tom Fitch and and Coach Ward and and what they have over there and and obviously in, in Coach Grenan and Canfield. And, you know, and Coach White, obviously, and Holland as well, like you said, that it's, it's you know, um, watch them play a little bit, uh, scrimmage uh, champion, and it's just, you know, they, they, they're they just, they're hitting on all cylinders as well. So, and like you said, Warren Harding, you know, they, they just get better and better every year. So th- there's no easy, you know, out in our conference. I mean, it's, it's tough. I mean, so, and, but, you know, we know that and we accept that, but, you know, for us to compete for the conference, I mean, we have to play great. We can't play good. We have to play great. And we know that. And we, you know, we've stressed this with our girls so far in this preseason that, you know, you really can't make mistakes, you know, and we're going to make them. We're kids and, you know, they're kids and we're going to make mistakes and it happens, but you can't compound them with multiple mistakes. You might get away with a, a couple of more mistakes with some other teams, but, in our conference, you know, the likes of, I mean, Sydney Watts and Melina Toth and Ayla Ray and Abby Toth and, 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 you know, Brooke Tater. I mean, you go on and on. I mean, we're talking about some of these girls, some are already, and some of them are going to be perennial division one players as well, you know, and then you throw in, you know, um, Ayla Ray's little sister, Kalena. I mean, it's, you know, as a freshman, I mean, you know, these, these girls are, you know, they're going to bring it every time they come to play. And we know that we have to match that. And we know that, you know, we're not intimidated. We know what, like what we're up against. We, that's one thing for sure. So, you know, we get what we're up against here in this conference, but we want to compete for it. And we know that, Hey, you know what, we get up the same way and put our clothes on the same way as everyone else does. So we have to take that mindset that, you know what? We can do this too. We can be just as good um, as any one of these other teams, and you know, and hopefully, you know, as we get going here and we, you know, we gain some confidence. You know, I know our schedule doesn't always allow that, but uh, if if we come out of the gate, and we can play strong. And like I said, even if it's it's you know their losses, uh, if you play tough in those in those games, you know you can compete. Your non-conference schedule would make it seem like you don't have a tough, tough conference, but you absolutely do because you're also flooding your non-conference schedule with a lot of tough games. Talk about some teams that pop up outside of the AAC and who you're excited to kind of square up against this year. Well, I mean, right out of the gate, a week from Saturday, you know, uh, North Can Hoover. We all know the, with the, you know, the pedigree of North Can Hoover. So, um, you know, um, we know that we played them last year, didn't fare well. You know, we started the game out uh, strong, but unfortunately, you know, once once you let a team like that get going uh, and you don't stop the bleeding, they're, they're just going to pounce on you. And unfortunately, it didn't go our way last year. But, you know, we got them at home this year. We're confident, you know, early on. And like I said, of what we're doing so far early on here. And I mean, in stand, staying in the federal league, we're going to play Jackson, uh, another great you know team that's always tough every year. Uh, we're going to play our uh, Hoban, Archbishop Hoban, uh, another team that was good last year that's going to be even more improved this year. Uh, we play Painesville Riverside. Uh, uh, Coach Ross does a great job with that team. Last year we played them twice, and unfortunately we were on the bad end of both. You know, Both games that we had leads in, unfortunately we uh, we lost them, but that's because that's a team that, that just is well covered coach they never quit they just keep you know they just keep coming after you and uh you know we also play uh mentor who's you know look look mentor held their own last year against austin town and you know mentor is obviously we know the you know the size of that school it's a very big school but mentor has improved you know we played them last year played another close game we beat them uh, in a close win so uh mentor is going to be a uh, another tough out and even some of these, you know, Division three and Division four teams that we've scheduled, they're all good. They're all powerhouses. You know, Columbiana, we know what Columbiana has. Uh, Matthews, you know, well-coached, uh, regional team year in and year out. Lakeview, Coach Kellum over there, that team is, is loaded. We played them in the Winter League. And, you know, so even some of these other teams that we play that are, you know, maybe not the D1 or D2 level, um, they're going to be tough. And we play Poland every year. You know, Poland, Coach Sherich over there always gives us a battle. And, you know, and you know maybe they don't have the, the, the likes of Katie man anymore, but they got talent there, and we know that. And he's always going to have them ready to go. So, our, you know, 
no matter what we schedule, whether it's Division One teams or Division Three, we want to we want to schedule up. Like I said, I didn't get into this to win a bunch of games. If it happens in the process, that's great. But I want my girls to be ready to you know be prepared for the tournament. And that's also why we're going down south again. We're going to Florida again, and we're going to play five really tough games down there. I mean, that's always going to be tough, and we're okay with that. Like I said, um, it's you know the, this is why we do what we do every year with our schedule. Now, Florida trip. Let's talk about it real quick before we jump into your coaching staff. Um, what benefits do does a trip like that have? I know it's got to be a little bit hard to organize and try to try to you know as a coach try to keep some some. Uh, organization amidst the chaos of a trip like that, but you go through it for a reason. What benefits does a trip like that do for your team? Well, you know, first off, it's team bonding. You know, the girls, I mean, you know, we have a pretty tight-knit team already, um, but, you know, it, it it's that extra added team bonding, the ability to be able to go down there in the great weather, obviously be able to play. You know, most times you're up here, you can't even play. And it is early this year, um, you know, with Easter being early. So it's a benefit to be down there. But, you know, the girls be able to spend time together, whether it be on the beach or we're going to do other activities. Um, and, and also, you know, to really see other teams down there that, you know, last time we were down there, it's a different softball. I mean, they're already in their into their year of month before us, you know, so um Really, it's it's a fun time. It's something that, you know, as many years as I've coached or been a part of with, with my daughter playing, every girl always reverts back to a special moment being in one of the trips. And, you know, I don't do it every single year, but it's something that, you know, it, it's fun to do. And it is tough. And, you know, I'm thankful for our club uh, to allow us these opportunities that our parents fundraise to be able to do this because you're right. They're tough to organize. You know, they're not easy and to be able to get everybody down there. And, you know, you worry as a coach, we get everyone down there safely and, you know, you want to play. And, but like I said, we also want to enjoy the, the trip itself and the, and the bonding aspect of it as well. All right. Let's give you the chance to also shout out your coaching staff. We let you, you know, introduce us to the team. Who do you have working for you this year? Who's uh, helping you make this Boardman program so good? Well, you know, uh, Lindsay Connell starts with her. She's Lindsay's been with me since, you know, I've taken the job of Boardman. Lindsay's actually was here prior to even me. So uh, Lindsay's my assistant. Lindsay, you know, she does a great job of calling pitches. Lindsay's really good with the girls. Uh, you know, she's sort of like that mom that, you know, they can kind of talk to or lean on when, you know, maybe they're having a tough day or whatever the case may be. So, you know, um, like I said, me and Lindsay have been together and, you know, we, we really do um, kind of, you know, we complement each other in a lot of ways. And then, you know, my and then also to have them page with us at the varsity level, obviously coaching with my daughters, it's a special deal. It's always been. But, you know, Paige knows these girls just as well as you do, you know, probably better than most. You know, you guys have both. Uh, attributed to them over the years of travel here with the Still Valley Storm. But, you know, having Paige and, you know, her ability to, you know, relate to them because she's played this game, obviously, for, you know, her all the years that she played and also in the college. And she's another one that the girls can, you know, really relate to. And, uh, you know, I just love having her there with me all the time. And I see a lot of me in her. Um, sometimes it's probably not always good, but <laughs> – but, you know, she does a great job. And someday when, you know, once all said and done, Paige is going to be a, a coach someday and a very good one, uh, a head coach somewhere. And and then uh, at our JV level, you know, I bring it back, Brian Ladner. Brian uh, was uh, with first year was with me last year. And Brian is probably one of the most, you know, organized individuals I've ever been associated with. He's very meticulous in what he does. Brian is very good. He's a coach. He's an educator. It's, and so it's really good to have someone in the school as a, uh, to be able to relate with the girls and, you know, and anything that might arise during the day, it's nice to have Brian in the school and Brian just learns like on the fly. I mean, he's good at and picks up anything. And, you know, Brian, if you didn't know, you thought Brian's been coaching softball for 15 years. I mean, he's really good at, uh, like I said, he's like a sponge. I've said this before. He absorbs everything. And like I said, and he's really good with the girls and he's very organized and, you know, and that's, it's, it's such a big asset to have someone like that, like I said, within the school. So, you know, Brian's going to um, take on the roles of JVs again with uh, Coach Joe Mazarus, who I brought in. Coach Joe 
This is his first year with those, but Coach Joe Madras has been coaching uh, softball for a lot of years. Coach was with uh, Canfield for many years. He was with Ray Molesky when Ray was there. Uh, Coach ended up going to reserve with with Mike Cook. And Coach uh, Joe just loves softball. I mean, you know, this guy, you know, at one point he he said he'd do it for free if, if that's what we wanted him to do because he just loves the game. The girls love him. Uh, he's he like I said, he's been around the game for a lot of years, so he brings a lot to the uh, adds a lot to this team. And, you know, and I'm one to lean on my assistants. I mean, I, I you know, one thing, you know, I've always said, I mean, if there, there's no point in having them if you're not going to utilize what they do best and, you know, and let them coach. I mean, you know, I, this isn't all about just me or, you know, or what or one coach in, in particular, or it's about a staff. And I think we complement each other very well. So I'm, I'm really excited about uh, what this year will hold for all of us. Coach, we're excited too. We, we, we appreciate your time. We look forward to the season. Give the Boardman fans one shout out on when they can find you in your first home game and when they can start watching the Lady Spartan softball team. Well, I mean, we open up our, our regular season. We open up next Saturday at home against, like I said, against Canton Hoover. I mean, we have a scrimmage that lined up against a really good green team tomorrow. So if anybody's, you know, wanting to come out to see what we look like here tomorrow, you can come out tomorrow. We're at home. So the weather's supposed to be great. So, um, you know, we're uh, we're getting ready to, you know, we're excited about getting this thing rolling. Hopefully we'll have a week prior to going down to Florida. Hopefully we get some games in prior to going down there. All right, Coach, like I said, we're looking forward to it, too. We appreciate your time. Wish you the best of luck this year, and can't wait to talk to you in real soon. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, I just want to tell you guys I appreciate everything you guys have done. You guys are amazing. I mean, the exposure for our student athletes is amazing. I've said it time and time again. There's nothing like YSN, I mean, in this entire area. And any school that's not – I'm I'm pretty certain it's probably every school you have now, but if you're not hooked up with YSN, it, it's – it's a shame because you guys do an amazing job of not only, you know, you highlight what's important, which is the student athlete. And uh, and one other thing, I want to give a shout out to our uh, athletic director, Marco Marinucci. Marco's retiring this year in June. And I just want to say, you know, Marco's been an educator. He's been a coach. He's been an administrator, but he's been a great athletic director. But he's been more importantly, he's been a great mentor for me. I wouldn't be where I am as a coach today without Marco. Uh, he's he's going to be missed. But you know what? It's a it's a well there's well deserved retirement so um we'll miss him but he deserves it well deserved indeed coach and and one day uh hopefully not soon because we want to see you coaching for a long time but you'll have a well well deserved <laughs> one as well all right i hope so 